Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me for another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, we have a 2 4 for you. We have the last case of 2021 and the first case of 2022 of the Matchbox Real Working Rigs to take a look at. Huge thanks to the guys over at jcardiecast.com. Again, a link will be provided in the video's description. So if you are interested in picking up these cases, check out the link provided in the description. So let's go ahead and focus on the M case, which again is the last mix for 2021, and then we will open up the first mix of 2022. So let's go ahead and open it, take a look at what's inside. Now the last mix is still making its way to some stores. I know of several states that have not seen this mix uh, on the pegs yet, which again is a little bit disappointing. From the top-down view, you can see the assortment. It appears as though there are two different colored attenuator trucks. Looks like no less than four satellite trucks, one scraper, and one uh, crop duster machine. So an interesting assortment here. Uh, interesting that there are no less than four satellite trucks, which appear to be the new model in here along with the crop sprayer. And then we have some holdovers from previous cases in 2021. Why they decided to do this mix, I'm not sure. It would be nice if there had been two crop sprayers uh, and perhaps maybe instead of four satellite news trucks, maybe another scraper or maybe another different colored attenuator truck, but it is what it is. So let's take a closer look. We have the Orange GMC 3500 attenuator truck. Again, this is a repeat. We've seen this orange truck several different times, and we are going to see this again in the N case, the first assortment for 2022. So what we're going to do is we are going to open up this one and pose it next to the N case to see if there's any variation at all. But there you go. There's this one. If you, orange is not your color, orange is maybe not the new black, how about yellow? Again, the same truck, uh, GMC 3500 attenuator truck. This is a very functional model. I really, truly enjoy this, uh, being a construction collector. The, uh, the cushion in the back, this device right here comes down, as well as the arrow that is positional. You can change it. Again, we will take a closer look at that when we open the orange one in the N case. Uh, for those into numbers, this was number 2 of 16, while the orange attenuator truck is number 15 of 16. Continuing on, we have the yellow... Freightliner M2 106 satellite truck. One of my favorite castings. It was nice to see this return in this mix. Again, this was the new one uh, for the mix four for 2021, the last mix. Licensed truck. Uh, I've seen already since this case has been out for several months, there have been several customizers that have stripped this and sprayed this uh, in different fire department or police department mobile command center colors and also local TV station colors. So this has been a very popular vehicle for the customizers out there. So we have four of those. Here's the second one. Again, this is number 13 of 16. Let's just get these out of the way. There's your third one and your fourth one. There you go. Next, we have the Ranek or Ranek. Orange and white wheel tractor scraper, which Matchbox calls road scraper. Again, based on a real piece of construction equipment commonly seen on large earth moving and road construction jobs throughout the world. This one is number 5 of 16, and again, in the reoccurring uh, Ranek equipment livery, which again is a take on the word crane with the letters mixed up. So Matchbox usually releases this livery or paint scheme several times a year in all of their different product lines. I am a huge fan of it. So you get one of these articulating wheel tractor scrapers to add to your collection. And finally, the other new piece that was in this case is the crop sprayer. So this, of course, is used in farming to fertilize and also water the crops, depending on whatever you're growing. Uh, crop sprayer, bottom right, number 14 of 16. There's the model. Now, I will not be opening these, and the reason I'm not is I was able to find these 
uh, a couple months ago. So I already have a video review done of these where we unbox these and take a closer look at them on the spin table. So go ahead and take a look at the right corner of your screen, top right corner. And if you want to see these unboxed and see these functioning with all of their real working rig parts, go ahead and click on that video now and uh, it will take you straight to that video. For the rest of us, let's take a quick pause while we transition boxes and stay tuned because we're going to open up the first mix of 2022 for the Matchbox Real Working Rigs after this. All right, everyone, thank you for sticking with me. This is what you're primarily here watching this video for, I assume. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't believe that there has been a YouTuber that has reviewed this set yet, so i kind of privileged and honored. Uh, I don't really specialize in Matchbox too terribly closely, when you compare it to some of the larger names in the Mattel YouTubers. So I hope you appreciate this little sneak peek, this review, uh, and my thoughts on it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's unbox this again. This is the N case, the first mix of 2022 for the MBX Real Working Rigs. Should have eight models in here. I have no idea what the assortment is. We're going to find that out together. Ideally, there's four different vehicles, so hopefully there will be two of each. But as we've seen previously with real working rigs cases, there's no guarantee that there's going to be two of each. Heck, just like the previous case, there might be four of one vehicle. You just don't know. Okay, taking a look down. Looks like we have two green vehicles, two orange vehicles, uh, three orange vehicles. Scratch that. Uh, one fire truck and two red what is that? Looks like probably a garbage truck. So for the most part, you get two of each with the exception of the orange attenuator truck, which you get three of, and the fire truck, which you only get one of in this case. So let's go ahead and get started. First out. Ooh, this is nice looking. This is the Garbage King XL, a generic matchbox casting, as you can see with the cab over design. It is not licensed. Uh, this vehicle, I believe, used to be licensed back in the day, some 10 years ago, with an auto cab, uh, or excuse me, an auto car cab. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, but now it appears just to be a matchbox generic, but it does look rather realistic. This is number 13 of 16 for the year. If you want to look at the back of the card, it shows the functionality of the loader arms, the dumping dump box, and again, how you would go into the dumpster that is provided. We are going to open up one of each of these vehicles, so stay tuned towards the end of the video if you want to see one of these opened up and take a closer look at them. So again, there are two of those. Here's the other one. Okay, next we have three GMC 3500 attenuator trucks in orange. Again, I feel like we have seen this so many times recently in the Matchbox Real Working Rigs line. However, I am completely okay with that because this is a very popular truck and a realistic casting at that. This time it is 15 of 16 in the lineup. The back of the card looks a whole lot like this. Showing the cushion or the attenuator device folding down and the ability to move the arrow board sign around. Again, there are two more of these in the case, so you can build up quite the impressive DOT or highway department fleet by purchasing just a single case. Which again, very realistic. On a construction or road construction job on the highway throughway, depending on where you live, uh, you will see several of those. Next, we have the one and only Pierce Velocity Aerial Platform Fire Truck. This is a rear mounted, usually uh, anywhere from a 95 to a 105 foot aerial platform ladder rear mounted. You can see four of 16. Uh, disappointingly, there is only one of these in the case, but it is quite impressive looking with the black over red paint scheme. Kind of reminds you of uh, a Chicago paint scheme with the black over red. This time it is in B. Comathoth County. I could be pronouncing that totally wrong. I have never heard of that. I have no idea if that is a fictitious fire department or if that is a real fire department. On the back, you have the ability for the ladder to go up and down. It is officially licensed by Pierce. Quite a nice truck. Finally, the last two out of the box are two of the same. We have two GMC C8500 Top Kick Tree Trimming Trucks. 
These are bucket trucks, cherry pickers. There are so many names for these vehicles, but primarily their main function is to cut and tree and maintain the trees uh, in and around your municipality, your city. Uh, this is a very functional truck as well. Again, we are going to see that here very soon. But it uh, looks quite impressive in this green and orange paint scheme. Ozama, I believe, is the pronunciation. Ozima, maybe. Uh, tree service, class 6, number 4. Quite a nice looking truck. So that's it for the assortment for the first mix of 2022 of the Matchbox Real Working Rigs. When we come back from this short break, we're going to open up one of each of these and see how they function. That is the main attraction for the working rigs is functionality, so don't miss it. We'll be back after this short break. All right, welcome back, everyone. We are going to start off with the vehicle that you have seen uh, probably enough of, quite frankly, for the next several years. Number 15 of 16, this is a GMC 3500 attenuator truck in orange. Let's just get this thing open. So here is our vehicle. Uh, it does roll very well. The... Stake bed in the back that is plastic, as are the tool cabinets on the bottom. The cab itself appears to be die cast metal, and the base itself appears to be plastic. You can see it is assembled with those triangular screws. The base reads GBK02 TMGM attenuator truck made in Thailand, RW048, uh, copyright 2018 Mattel. That's the base information. Now for the functionality of this truck. The back piece, this is called the attenuator or the cushion. Again, if you are not familiar, this would drop down in a construction or a hazard zone. And the idea is that a unsuspecting motorist, maybe somebody that's on their cell phone or not paying attention when they should be, they would drive into this instead of the gentleman working in the road construction zone and that this would absorb the impact of the car, again, keeping the gentleman in the construction zone safe. The other piece of working... Uh, mechanism on this truck is the arrow board. Here we have it facing towards the left, but by removing it, you can also flip it or rotate it to the, op the opposite direction. So you can have it facing, as I'm demonstrating now, you can have it facing towards the right, like this. Just be careful because it can be a little bit finicky, get popped back in properly. You can have it facing towards the right to demonstrate that the construction work is happening in the right direction. So quite a nice truck. Big fan of this one. Now, I did tell you, because we like to be as thorough as we can on this channel, that we were going to open up the other one and compare and contrast it. So let's open the other one right here and see if there is a color or maybe a decal difference. I can tell you that they both have 58 and highway services. They're both orange. But aside from that, I'm not sure there's much difference. To me, I don't see any color difference. They look identical. If anything, maybe it's my eyes playing tricks on me. Maybe this one is slightly lighter orange. Maybe. Don't know. Um, but in terms of the, the decals, the graphics, everything else used, the wheels, it appears as though they are identical. So, again, for those that wanted a compare and contrast, there you go. Okay, the next vehicle in our set is the... GMC C8500 Top Kick Tree Trimming Truck. This one should be pretty cool. This has been in the Real Working Rigs line for over 10 years now. Uh, it was one of the originals that actually came out. Back in the day, it used to have a lot more functionality. Um, it used to have outriggers that dropped down. I think that Mattel stopped doing that because it became a choking hazard. But let's find out together. So these are the outriggers or stabilizers. They used to come down out of the truck. And hey, hey, guess what? They still do come down. So that is nice to see. I stand corrected. So if you are on a job site, you can bring your truck. Have them stationed here properly. Your outriggers are down to support the weight of the truck. You can then raise your bucket. Rotate it 360 degrees to get to where you need to do some maintenance and grooming on some trees. Very happy to see that. And again, because two are provided in the case, you can start your own small 
uh, tree trimming business with just a couple of trucks. Obviously, you can put this back down if you want to. Now, let's say that you are done for the day and you have some tree trimmings in the back of the truck when you get back to the yard. Well, you can use those for recycling or maybe there's some wood chips in the back. You can dump them out just like this and the back does swing open. That's really good to see. So if you like functionality, if you like your real working rigs to well work and function, this is definitely one for you. The high quality graphics are present all throughout. Like I said before during the unboxing, I think it's Ozama or Ozima. Uh, it has number four here, class six. On the door it reads, since 2009, Ozima Tree Turving Services based in Chicago, Illinois. Um, and I really like the orange wheels too. Okay. Let's open up next the Pierce Velocity Aerial Platform Fire Truck. Again, only downside about this is there's only one in the case. So, here's our aerial ladder truck. Anytime that Matchbox releases this fire truck, it is one of the most popular castings. Um, again, been out for a number of years now. Let's see, does it say on the base the year? Yeah. 2009, for those that are interested in the base information. 2009, Pierce Velocity, uh, aerial platform, made in Thailand. Uh, P39, RW016 for the base code information. And just before I forget, I don't think I did the base on the tree trimming truck, so let's back up for just a moment. Go back to the base on this one. Give you guys a opportunity to read that. GMC C8500 Top Kick 2009, trademark GM. Uh, 2019 Mattel, made in Thailand. 90, what does that say? 9087, uh, 1186 on the base. Again, made in Thailand. So that's the base for this truck. All right, let's go back to the aerial ladder truck. So as I said during the unboxing, I don't know if this is a real fire department, but I dig this paint scheme. It looks quite good. The red stripe, the, the red truck, black cab, white stripe. Again, a very realistic and believable scheme of a real fire department. So this very well could be a real fire department. Um, one thing I wish Matchbox would do, and of course, I doubt that they will, um, but they can, obviously, because they have implemented it on the top kick, is make these outriggers work. At least make them drop down. Again, that's not realistic because, of course, they would come out and then drop down on the real truck. But the ladder does raise, and you get a single extending section or telescoping section, depending on how correct you want to sound. Um, and then, you, of course, you have your basket on the top. The basket, the casting has always been extremely impressive because you have two monitors on the front of the basket, which, again, if you have some paint pens and more time on your hands than you should, maybe you could bring the detail out of these nozzles. It looks quite impressive. Of course, you can rotate it 360 degrees as well. A very, very impressive truck indeed. Now, technically speaking, more than likely, this is more than an aerial platform ladder truck. This does have a pump. So my assumption is, based on the size of the tank and the ladder, this could technically qualify as a quint, but it says it's an aerial platform ladder truck, so we're going to leave it as described. So there you go. That is the Pierce ladder truck. Last in this case is the Garbage King XL. Now, I saved this one for last, not because it's a licensed casting like the other three, but I think this is probably the coolest, just based on the fact that it has a ton of functionality. It is close enough to resemble a real-life machine, so let's just open it up. It does come with this black mini dumpster as well, which is removable from the, the, the forks. So this truck, of course, would drive up to this dumpster that is full. For the full effect, let's do a transport mode. So he would probably have his fork somewhat like this or even down. Drop down his tongs here. Drive them in. Boom. Then he would lift this up over the top of the garbage truck and empty it into the back. Once that's finished, 
He would put his dumpster back down, reverse out of it, and drive away to the next job. We'll fast forward to the end of his extremely long shift. Back up to the landfill. And then dump out all of our garbage. And the back does open on the truck. So I love the functionality that's on this garbage truck. It, uh, it works well. The truck looks incredible with all of these high-quality decals. We'll start at the back. Matchbox City Waste, Waste Services, RW051. Use caution. Stay clear of door here and here. And then, obviously, all of your DOT high-visibility striping on both sides. Coming over here, again, a lot of the same information. Matchbox City, Matchbox City Waste Services with the Recycle logo. Matchbox Services, RW051. And then over here, you just have your DOT information, like your U.S. DOT number. Down here, you have clean out, use caution. And on the door, matchbox services as well. The cab is die cast. The body of the truck is plastic. And then obviously, your loader arms for your front loader on this garbage truck are also plastic. Looking at the base of this truck, there's quite a lot of information. We have copyright 2020 Mattel, 1186 MJ, made in Thailand, P41, uh, Garbage King XL, GWG, 44RW051, for those interested in the information. So that will wrap up this review of the Matchbox Real Working Rigs. Essentially an overview of the latest two cases with a deep dive into the first mix of 2022. Again, if you collectors out there are interested in adding these to, to your collection, I encourage you to check out the link that is down in this video's description. It will take you to jcardiecast.com where you can pick up this case today. Couple great castings in this collection. Obviously the highlights for me are the garbage truck. The, the cherry picker, but well, you know what? We're just going to call all four of them highlights because they are really solid choices. Even the only casting that isn't licensed out of the four, which of course is the garbage truck, is a really solid piece. The only thing that could be improved in this that needs to be repeated is we don't need several attenuator trucks when we can have a second uh, aerial platform ladder truck. So we got to get through to Mattel somehow to just, if we're going to do a case of eight, let's have two of each. It gives collectors a better chance of finding what they want on the pegs. And for those collectors that buy the cases, like myself and several thousand others, it gives the opportunity for you to have one sealed and one to open and display. As always, thank you all so very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and share it with your friends. Until next time, take care, be well, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.